and a very good afternoon to you folks. It's um, been a bit of a while, isn't it? Um, for which I apologise. It's been quite a busy summer for me. I've been um, over to Holland to visit some relatives there. I've got a big family there. Up to Manchester to visit um, my uncle and two cousins up there. Uh, gone off to Wales with my daughter's partner because he rather foolishly let slip that he wanted to go and do a, a hill walk. So I took him up um, Penny Van in the, the Brecon Beacons. Um, I've been riding my bike quite a lot. I've joined the local group of the Cyclist Touring Club and um, been going out quite commonly on a, on a Sunday with them, which is really nice. And I've been doing quite a lot of astrophotography. Now, normally uh, in the summer, I kind of give up as far as astrophotography is concerned. Um, typically, it never gets fully dark at all. <clears throat> and, or if it does, you've got maybe an hour or two at best of darkness, but that's usually at like 2 a.m. Um, so it makes it all a little bit difficult. But rather than write off astrophotography from kind of middle of May or end of May all the way till the end of August. This year I decided I would um, stick at it and see what I could get with my um, Seastar S30 scope. So what I wanted to do today was to show you the results of that and um, you can decide whether you feel it was worth it or whether I should just kind of abandon astrophotography and wait for the the season to start properly towards the end of August. Um, all of the images you'll see were taken typically using 10 second exposure times uh, over a period uh, total exposure of between one hour and an hour and a half typically. So not, not too long exposures, uh, partly because it gets to like 2am and I want to go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, I shall put those up um, they're all annotated saying what they are and um, I hope you enjoy looking at some of my endeavours this summer. In uh, about two weeks time towards the end of the month or early next month there's an astronomy festival at Hearst Monsoon near Eastbourne that I'm hoping to go to and uh, camp there. Depends a bit on the weather. Uh, obviously if it's cloudy it's a bit of a waste of time but um, fingers crossed everything will be all right there uh, and if I do go to that I shall do a little video of that but um, in the meantime yeah, I hope you enjoy my images for this summer. Take care, cheerio! <laughs>
Snapshots of the sky